All right, y'all, we're being super ratched today and we're literally using <laughs> my phone microphone or voice memos because I just don't feel like setting up the whole shebang and this is going to be a super short episode. Um, yeah, so welcome to The Way Podcast where we talk about Yahweh and how to live life his way. We have not met yet. My name is Victoria. I was about to say the accent. I stopped myself. My name is Victoria, and I'm so happy you're here. So I'm going to cross this podcast. I, um, y'all have done so much the past like six or seven days. I tried to film this yesterday and could not keep my eyes open, opened during filming. So here we are trying again, and I'm not setting everything up. I'm just not doing it. So I'm going to have to check this like 50 times during this episode to make sure it's still recording. Anyways, like and subscribe on YouTube. Um, leave me your five star rating and review on the podcast. Um, whatever, whatever. Uh, look at me. I'm so scattered. Let me pray real quick. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you so much for today. Help me speak to me, even though we're not really talking about much, but whatever God needs to be said, help me, guide me. I need your spirit. Can't do this without you. Love you so much. Amen. So, yeah. Um, like and subscribe on YouTube. Leave me five styles on the, what's it called? Podcast app. I'm a little bit out of the flow. And yeah, so sorry. We did not have an episode last week. That was not the plan at all. Uh, I 100% planned on filming a podcast episode last week. But life happened and I was so freaking busy with the move that I could not. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Anyways, we're here now. <laughs> Let's get right into today's episode. All right, y'all. As you can see, my watchers, we're in a new place. We moved, y'all. We moved. We moved. I am like, so whatever. This is just so crazy. I cannot believe we moved. We literally moved. This was not in the plan. Um, Yeah, I have on no makeup today, y'all. I truly am about to just come on here, give y'all a little update, tell y'all what I'm thankful for. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm filming this two days after Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. And yeah, we're going to get back on the flow. Not next week, but the week after that. I have an episode coming out next week, but it's kind of like, it's a guest. And just like not my normal flow. And also not here. It's in, at his place. Anyways, that's next week. And then after that, we'll get the ball rolling for the rest of the year. I don't know if we're going to take a break for Christmas and New Year's and passion conference so let me just give y'all a rundown okay then we'll talk about the move it is currently november 25th okay i christmas we're traveling so i will not be filming anything then we get come back new year's is one of my favorite holidays of the year i just love new months new years new days i love wake up in the mornings so you know we're going all out for that i mean not partying but like we're throwing a little party in this new place you know but like, you know, Jesus, it's not nothing crazy. <laughs> Anyways. And then the week after that, so the first week of the year, we have a passion conference, which is January 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And I think the camera's crooked. Anyways. And yeah, and so that's just what we'll be doing the first the three weeks at the end of December into January. And it's just a lot. I really don't even know when I'm gonna have time to film. I might pre-film some things. I haven't decided yet. I get, I got to pray on it, but that's what's happening. So yeah, y'all, we are just doing a lot. We're doing a lot. We are. I also have a Christmas party, three events to plan for in the month of December. So it is a lot. It is a lot, but we're blessed. We're so blessed. We are not complaining. I am pumped for December. I cannot wait. So anyways, yeah, y'all, that's just what's happening. Um, but okay, I moved, as you can see. Um, if you are a listener, this means nothing to you. But if you are a watcher, this means everything. We're in a new space. Also, I know the lighting is horrible. I truly don't know what we're going to do in this new place because there's big, huge floor to ceiling windows everywhere. So, you know, if you are new to the podcasting or film world, you are supposed to film against the light. So the, to get the best lighting, I would flip this whole set and the windows would be facing my face and the lighting would be immaculate. But because this view is so beautiful back here, I'm like, I don't know what we're going to do because I want this view, but I need lighting, good lighting, specifically for the Instagram and the, and the TikToks and the reels and the clips I make. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We will have to figure that out. 
I might film at night. I, I might close the shades. We don't know. But I really want the view in there because it's just so cute. And anyways, so uh, yeah, sorry if the lighting is bad. But yeah, we moved. And that is basically what I've been doing for the past like week, the seven days straight is moving. And it's been so much. I, my mom just left yesterday. She helped me with every little thing ever. Um, yeah. And y'all, let me tell y'all, I hate moving so freaking much. Like there's nothing I hate more. I, I don't think like it's just the absolute worst. It doesn't matter where you're freaking going. It just sucks. It just sucks. So anyways, that's what I've been doing the past seven days that I've been miserable. But I love this new place so freaking much. I love it. I love it. Um, last Friday we moved and, um, Thursday we got the keys. And so I came in here earlier that day and just prayed through and through in this place and just pray over it and blessed it. And then a jury came later that day and prayed over it as well. And, um, I truly feel just like peace in the presence in, in this apartment. Like I'm not kidding. And so, uh, yeah, I just love it here. I've been sleeping well. Uh, I've been having a little bit of health issues. So if y'all could pray that that would just stay away. I've been good the past two days, but just like y'all have known in the past, I've had problems with migraines and all that stuff. And I think it just is over the overwhelmingness of the move might be triggering it along with just like a change and like y'all know the whole nine yards and so if y'all could just pray that my head would just stay good I cannot have these migraines again I will jump off a cliff if I freaking have migraine problems again like I just cannot so anyways that's been bothering me this week but I again I've been good the past two days praise the lord I literally got on my knees and I was like god I just will not have migraine problems again. I cannot go through this pain and agony every day of my life like I did two years ago. I just can't. So I think he listened and he answered, praise God. So please, God, just keep them away. I'm begging in the name of Jesus. Um, and yeah, so we're almost done. We got the rug today. The rug's super cute. The two chairs come tomorrow. Um, there's some decor over there trying to figure out what we're going to keep and get rid of. But yeah, it's been great. It's so freaking cute. I love it so much. Um, oh, in this apartment, y'all, it's so bouge. They have a co-working lounge. And so this morning, what time is it? It's three o'clock now. But this morning, I literally went to the co-working lounge and got so much done. And I cannot wait till Monday because I work from home on Mondays and I'm editing this and doing all the things tomorrow in the co-working lounge. And so I'm just so excited. I love that co-working lounge. And then like, uh, the gym is on the rooftop on the 32nd floor and it's so nice. And I just like, am like so blessed. I'm so freaking like, I'm so grateful. I just want to hug Jesus and it's just so nice. And, but I also literally said that I would never move deeper in Atlanta than Brookhaven, which is where I was the past two years. 10 out of 10 recommend Brookhaven, but God made it super clear that, uh, he, wanted me here and Adore. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Adore is my roommate, y'all. So yeah, that's crazy. She'll be coming back in town. She's gone for Thanksgiving right now, but she'll be coming back later tonight. And I'm excited to get to spend some time with her. I just like really, we really have not got to spend time together in the first seven days because of Thanksgiving and we're just genuine. Like when I tell y'all, we've been so packed and busy. I, I cannot stress that enough. Um, and so I'm excited for her to come back tonight and like, maybe we can, it depends on what time. Cause I'm going to bed early cause there's church in the morning, but, uh, hopefully we can have some bonding time tonight, but I'm so excited that our jury is my roommate. She'll probably be on more episodes cause literally she's right there. So I'm be like, Hey girl, come out, let's film. And I'm excited cause y'all love her and I love her. So, uh, hopefully she'll be on the pod more, but I don't want to force her, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm so excited though. And yeah, I just love it. I feel like I'm in college again. I feel like I'm like literally in a hotel because I've been living in like the exterior apartments where you like walk out of your door and you're outside. But these apartments are like, you have, a, you have to get on an elevator and like, it's just crazy. And I'm like, what? It only God, literally only, only God, the reason how me and Adore are here. Um, 
And so, yeah, that is the move. I am so glad that it's pretty much over. I can't wait to have everything actually up, up and looking nice. And yeah, so we moved. Uh, Praise God. And so to end this episode, we are going to, uh, oh, go over everything I'm thankful for because it's the week of Thanksgiving. So how fitting. And I'm so grateful and they won't. I'm so grateful and they won't. I really am. And so I just want to go over uh, with y'all what I'm grateful for. And let me know in the comments or DM, whatever, however y'all talk to me, what y'all are grateful for. I want to hear, I want to know. So the first thing on the list is Jesus, of course. He is the best. He's my bestest friend ever. I just love him. I had a hard day yesterday and I got really down about my head because I was scared that my migraines were coming back. So I just like was so depressed and sad. And I was like, God, I hate this. Like, please help me. And this morning I got up early, did not have a headache, went and spent so much time with him this morning. And I just wanted to give him a big hug because I felt so refreshed and renewed after my quiet time with him this morning. I just love Jesus and like we're here because of him. And I just am so grateful and thankful. And I just love that man. I love him. <sighs> Sorry. Anyways, that's the first on my list. <laughs> The second on my list is my mom. She is my best friend. And I feel bad because sometimes I snap at her. You know how you are with your parents, but I could not have done this move without her. And she is just my ride or die. Like she will support me. She will be here. She, it don't matter what it is. It could be a move. It could be an event. It could be whatever. My mama's going to show up and she's going to help me. And my dad was always the same way too. And I just am so blessed with the most supportive parents. Like I, I genuinely... Every time I think about them, I could give God another hug because I'm like, thank you for making me their daughter. I have the best parents ever. And I could not have done this without my mom. And so I'm just grateful and thankful. And I love Jesus for making her my mother. And thank you, Lord. Love you so much. Um, Okay. Why does it keep going off of the note? Okay. My friends, y'all, I just love them. I'm so thankful for them. I like, I truly have a group of girls around me that I feel like are rooting for me in prayer, in words, like in just in life. And I'm so great. Like, I'm so freaking grateful for my friends. Like, I genuinely am so blessed. Like, I can't get over how blessed I am. I just feel so blessed. And, um, like my friends, I could not have made it through this move without them. They were coming one by one, different days, helping me pack up my last apartment, texting me, praying for you, praying for you. What can I do? Oh, I can't, I can't make it, but I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Keep me updated. Like genuinely held me up in prayer in the spirit room during this move. And if without their prayers, I don't think I would have made it through because I was struggling with this move. I was so tired. I did so much. And so genuinely just blessed with the best friends ever. And like one of my friends, um, it's overseas right now in Africa on a mission trip. And I, the Lord assigned me clear as day every morning, you wake up and you cover her in prayer. So every morning I've been waking up and praying for Kylie. And I'm like, I, just to, like God cover her, protect her immune system, like literally battling and warring for her in the spirit realm. And I am just so blessed because Kylie has been covering me in prayer with this move. And it's just like, what did I do to deserve these friends? Like genuinely the best friends ever. And so Kylie, Kylie was on a super, super duper early episode of the way um if y'all really want to do some scrolling and find her episode but yeah I just am so blessed and thankful to have friends like Kylie who covers me and I'm covering her and Adore covers me and all of my friends y'all are truly just covering me and I am so blessed I literally am so blessed like I cannot I, I truly like answered prayers like I cannot state it any other way next on the list is my platforms uh y'all what the heck like when I truly think about my life I'm like what is happening anyways yeah y'all the social media I just love social media I am so blessed to get to do this I did nothing to deserve this I did nothing to deserve anything I I just am blessed because every good gift comes from above and I am just so blessed that y'all follow me that y'all like my content that y'all chat with me that y'all like I don't know follow me it's just crazy to me I just genuinely don't understand like why but thank you lord um and I just don't want to take these platforms for granted ever 
everything that y'all see, I pray over these platforms every single day, every single morning. There's not a day that goes by that I do not pray a protection over these platforms and, and just helping me, God help me steward these platforms. Every post y'all see is prayed over. I never post anything on any platform without saying a prayer over it. And so I just want y'all to know that I'm just so blessed and thankful. And I do not take these platforms for granted. Like truly, thank you, Lord. Like I don't understand. I when I think about my life, I don't understand understand it. Like it's crazy. Um next on the list is this apartment. I genuinely am so freaking grateful for this apartment. Uh I am I, I like look around and I'm like, what, how is this real life? Like I genuinely, everything in my life, I'm like, how is this real? Like, it just doesn't make sense. If you would have told 15 year old Victoria that this would have been her life, she would be like, girl, you're crazy. But a 15 year old Victoria didn't know Jesus. She did not know the God that we serve. So this apartment, y'all, I'm blessed. I am grateful. I am thankful. So, yeah, I'm so blessed to have a roof over my head. Oh, my gosh. Y'all know how many people don't have roofs over their heads? Thank you, God, for a roof over my head. I want to hug him. Ah, I'm bursting with gratitude right now. But I'm so grateful and thankful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. My church is next on the list. Y'all, listen, I know I'll talk bad about, not bad about churches, but I don't uplift it a lot. But I truly am grateful for my church, like my home church, not the, I don't know what all these other churches got going on, but my church that I go to passion city church, very grateful and thankful for it. Um, I, there is not a day that I, I need to take that church for granted because I leave, I feel filled. I feel, um, convicted. I feel, I just feel all the things like, and I'm grateful to have a church home. Y'all, there are people struggling, finding a church home. And I'm just so grateful that the Lord has called me to that place. I'm rooted, planted, and I I, there, I don't need to take that for granted because there are people who truly don't have a church home and they are find, trying to find one. And they are going through the trenches trying to get planted and find a church home. So I'm just grateful to just be able to call my church my home and the people there love them. I'm just grateful. I'm so grateful. My church is right up the road now. I'm so freaking grateful. I just cannot take that place for granted. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. No matter how hard things get or how annoying people get, like I can't take it for granted. And so I'm just so grateful and thankful um, that that is my place that the Lord allows me to worship. We get to worship for free. We don't have to be in an underground secret church because Christianity is illegal. Like all of these hundreds and thousands of countries around the freaking earth, like we can freely worship him and invite people. And it is just a gift. It is truly, truly, truly a gift. So I'm so grateful and thankful for my church. If you're looking for a church in Atlanta, Georgia, Passion City Church, 10 out of 10. Well, I won't say 10 out of 10. Cause no church is perfect, but I'd say eight, eight out of 10, 8.5 out of 10. I'd say nine out of 10, eight and a half. Okay. That's all y'all need to know. Maybe nine out of 10. I don't know. I don't know. Great church. <laughs> it's my point. If you're looking, check us out. My gifts y'all is another thing I'm very grateful for. I just am grateful for the gifts that God has given me. I'm grateful to serve him through the gifts. I'm grateful to just be a vessel. And I I, I just could not have asked for anything more or anything less. And I just thank you, God, for the God-given gifts that you've given me. So please help me use them for your glory. Please help me continue to use them for your glory. Please just help me steward them. Hey, and give me more. Hey, our God is a God of abundance, okay? So anyways, God, yeah, I just thank you for my gifts. I'm, I'm truly grateful. Um, My health, I know I said I was having a little bit of whatever going on with my head, but... I am so grateful for my health. Like I am a whole healthy, all four limbs. Nothing's really wrong. No diseases. Well, do I have diseases? I don't think I have any diseases. No, right? Do I have any disorders? I have no idea. I probably should. No, no, I don't. This is why I'm grateful. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for my health. And, um... I'm just grateful. Uh, there's really nothing else to say. I can walk. I can talk. I am I am just blessed. I'm blessed. Do y'all know 
how many people out here are having health problems? And it's just, it's scary. It truly is scary. So God, please help me continue to take care of myself. This episode is also slash prayer. God, please help me continue to take care of myself and prioritize my health and keep me healthy and help me not take it for granted. And I just love you so much. Thank you for my health. Amen. And last but not least, this podcast, you be getting mushy. <laughs> I'm thankful for this podcast, y'all. I don't want y'all to think I take this for granted. I see the thousands of y'all who listen to me on a weekly basis. I see y'all. I hear y'all. I am. I don't understand why. I don't get it. I truly don't get it. But I just thank y'all for listening. Uh, this podcast is just crazy to me. Like, it's crazy that we're even here. Um, I don't know. I guess sometimes I might feel disconnected because it is just me, myself, and I in a room and a camera and a microphone. And I'm like, okay, but like this is going out to thousands of people. <laughs> so like I have to like reel it in and just remember like, girl, this is like not any a small thing, you know? And so I don't know. I just have to remember, I, I, I never take it for granted, but I just have to remember like the significance of this, of what all of, of all what God is asking me to do and shepherd. And I really hope that, this is not a light, only a light to y'all, but it makes y'all laugh. I hope it makes y'all feel convicted. I hope it makes y'all feel encouraged. I, I just like am so grateful for y'all listening. It truly blows my mind. Like every time I think about it, I'm like, what is happening? Anyways, thank y'all. This podcast is not something I take for granted. Um, thank y'all for listening. I thank you, Jesus, for this podcast. Thank you, God, for this platform. Thank you, God. Just thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. Yeah, that's the end. I, again, next week there'll be a guest. After that, we'll be rocking and rolling through the end of the year. And yeah, I just am so grateful and thankful for y'all. And thank you for listening. Thank you for moving with me, y'all. We moved. I didn't just move. We moved. So thank y'all for coming on this journey with me. And ah, I'm so excited and happy. This is why it's so important to start your days off of gratitude and never go a day without thanking God for something because it genuinely can transform your mood. Like I'm so happy right now for literally no reason. I'm just grateful. I'm so grateful and blessed. All right, y'all, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching and listening along with my ratchet microphone. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all next week. <laughs>